Today I'm going to be talking about how to hold a trombone. It's quite interesting seeing videos where people pick up a trombone for the first time and they have no idea how to hold it. You see people holding it like this uh, and a full hand grip like that and trying to wield it in that manner and it just doesn't work. It looks a bit silly. Um, so firstly I'll start with what the standard basic grip looks like. This is a B-flat F tenor trombone. I'm going to show it on a variety of trombones just to show how the uh, grip will change based on the instrument that you're uh, using. But firstly, your thumb goes on your trigger. Your trigger paddle like that. Your index finger will rest either against the uh, mouthpiece or the end of the lead pipe, whatever is the most comfortable. And then the last three fingers of your left hand will go generally like that. So you get a uh, grip that looks like this. Now that's the standard grip. It is not the grip that I use. So the grip that I use is slightly modified. We do have the trigger pedal, uh, the thumb on the trigger pedal here. We still have this finger uh, in the same place, but what changes is with this third finger here, the middle finger. Instead of it being on this side of this uh, brace, I put it on this side. So you've got this grip. That grip relieves a lot of the tension from having your hand in this position for long periods of time. It does take a bit to get used to, but that's the grip that I find works best for long endurance playing. So once again, we have the thumb on the trigger pedal, we have the uh, index finger on the mouthpiece or at the end of the lead pipe, whatever is the most comfortable for you. This finger here goes on the top side of this brace, and then the other two uh, go on the underside of of it as normal. That's the left hand. For the right hand you can either use uh, a one up and three down or a two and two configuration. The thumb always goes on top of the slide brace uh, on, on the top side here and then with the underside you can either have one finger on top, two fingers on top and two below or one and three. It, the most important thing is is that you have whatever is most comfortable for you. I strongly recommend either one of those configurations though. One above, three under, or two above and two, uh, two above and two under. The reason why I recommend that is that because it gives you a lighter touch on the slide, you can, you can easily uh, bounce the slide between positions. It's a lot more flexible, a lot more comfortable. If you hold the slide like this, you've suddenly got none of the flexibility when you're trying to quickly shift between positions. Having the slide at the very tips of your fingers gives you the most flexibility whilst not impeding on the security of the slide. There's nothing worse than the slide screaming off the end uh, when you're not wanting it to, which is most of the time. So that's, the, that's what I use for the right hand. It's really about finding what works best for you. This trombone is my bass trombone, and it's the trombone that I use whenever I'm called upon to play in bass trombone phrases. Now the first thing is the uh, thumb position is the same, the first finger is the same. I generally play it with the second finger, second finger resting on the second trigger pedal there. I can play it like that, which is how it's designed, but because I have large enough hands, uh, my finger reaches perfectly well on that finger pedal there in that manner. And these two last fingers just sit under there as they would with any other trombone grip. So look at this position from this angle, spinning it around to this angle. Full flexibility on the trigger pedals. Uh, my second trigger, the rubber's worn out on that, so I'm gonna have to replace that, which is why that's a bit noisy. Uh, but that's what my finger grip looks like on a bass trombone. The unfortunate thing is, is that this grip is not always possible depending on where the second trigger pedal ends. I've seen some trombones where it doesn't end in a convenient place for this finger. This angle is less uh, defined and, it, and you have to have your finger like this to, to reach the pedal. I don't like bass trombones like that because this angle, this, this position puts a lot of strain on the hand uh, if you're using it, if you're playing your instrument for a reasonable length of time. The slide, the slide grip is the same, either two up and two below or one up and three below. Never have three up and one or four up and one or that 
awful grip where you're holding it with your whole fist. You just don't get the same sort of flexibility and fluidity when moving between slide positions. This trombone is my alto trombone uh, and the grip that I prefer doesn't fit with this trombone. Firstly, uh, because of the dimensions of this instrument, the finger is almost poking you in the nose uh, if you have it up here. And the slide has this curved section on it here, which means it is designed to have three fingers down uh, so it can gently cup this curve. It also means that this finger is lower down on the mouthpiece. So if you have a trombone that has a curved bracing on it there, then I always recommend to have this configuration when you're holding the instrument. This trombone here is an antique trombone, but I'm using this as part of this demonstration because it's the only non-trigger tenor trombone that I currently have. With instruments of this size, I always recommend my preferred grip. The reason being is that this tube is really quite high up on the instrument. If this tube, if this brace pipe here was lower, then you would be able to get more comfortably away with this. Uh, this grip, but because the tube is so high and even though I have rather large hands I can't comfortably reach this in any meaningful way. So by shifting the hands up one finger it means that this my thumb grip is a lot more comfortable and it means I can better support the weight of the instrument because tenor trombones without a trigger even if they do have a, a proper counterweight on the end are still very front heavy and you rely a lot on this thumb to pull the instrument down to keep it at the angle that's comfortable for playing. So as I said before, it's all about what is the most comfortable for you, but if you haven't been aware of this particular grip, I highly recommend trying it out. Uh, it'll probably feel very unusual at first, but give it a go for a decent period of time, at least until it stops feeling unusual, so that you can see what your endurance is like uh, in a long session. It works for me, hopefully it'll work for you too. Uh, if anyone's got any further comments and suggestions about how to hold a trombone, please feel free to let me know. Uh, always happy to, to receive advice and comments. Uh, I put out new videos reasonably regularly at the moment, so please feel free to like, share, subscribe to my channel.